but they were still anti-gay marriage. So there's a there's some cultural um, <laughs> cultural reasoning to why some people are brothers and sisters in the Pentecost congregation feel what they do. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, 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 Eastern Europe, yeah, good one yeah. too, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Ricky mentioned uh, Muslim. Uh, I'm gonna share my, uh, my son Matthew, uh, as an EMT driver, he gets assigned random partners, and one time he told me about our partner, he, he, uh, one of his partners was from Yemen, and, and he told me, I said, uh, I, didn't, I don't know where Yemen is, but I know he's Middle Eastern. And I, I almost felt like saying, I hope you're not a terrorist or anything. You know, <laughs> oh my God. You know, but he didn't. And I, I told him what you know about Yemen being kind of an impoverished Muslim country. And like yeah. back in the 90s when this kid was born, that was kind of when Al it was a prime breeding ground for Al Qaeda. Uh, so, you know, Muslim, poor. You know, it, I said, hey, it'd be really interesting to tell me what, how, you know, the views he, he grew up with. So the next day, my son Matthew says, you know what he told me? He said, Matthew, when I was growing up, there were two things I was taught to hate. I mean, hate Americans and gays, except he didn't use, use a different term for gays. And you know, my son said, well, I understand about Americans, but gays, and then the kids said, especially gays. And he talked, he shared an experience when he was a kid, witnessing two adolescent kids just walking around, thinking no one sees them, holding hands, and seeing two men just walk up behind them and just shooting them. And then that was considered good. They did their jobs and that's a lesson to you as parents say, you know. So it's almost, there's some cultural repulsion to homosexuality too, which I don't want to equate that to Chinese, but you know, the term about gay people being immoral, being dirty, being offensive, I think that makes it a situation where, you know, if we have church members that commit adultery, that give false testimony, that's okay, they sin, we can get, be forgiven and move on with it. But being gay is just something that's like, going back to uh, Leviticus, it's detestable and unforgivable, and you know, there's no budging on their position. Uh, so I'm gonna close and hopefully, I, I, I apologize, we're not gonna have time for groups, but we can maybe just, can, uh, just have some open discussion. Where does the Vatican stand on homosexuality? For tradition, the Vatican has always been anti-gay marriage, anti-welcoming and affirming. But there's been a change. Uh, Pope Francis, he still strongly opposes same-sex marriage and still rejects modern interpretations of gender identity as the Vatican has in the past. But in response in 2013, and here's something that's food for thought, uh, in response to a question as to whether he approved of homosexuality, the Pope said in a 2013 interview, I replied with another question. Tell me, when God looks at a gay person, does he endorse the existence of this person with love or reject and condemn this person? We must always consider the person. So, what's that say? I mean, going back to the Genesis, that marriage is between a man and a woman. Uh, but as far as, you know, Leviticus, where gay people should burn and die, I think it's, he's saying not necessarily so, and that there is a, a hint that, you know, the church is, is look, looking at gays as not people that are just worthy of eternal death. That's food for thought. Um, so with that, um, I was going to break us into groups to offer people to share about their own experiences and how it influences their views. So I would like to open that to anybody who would like to do so or just anything in general that they would like to discuss or bring up. Can we save some time for next week? Oh, um, yeah, if you have um, a, an experience, it'd probably be good to just, uh, we, have a, we have a few minutes to talk about now. Next week, um, Next week, Don Fong is so gracious to speak uh, with us next week, and we have a completely different topic. Um, and uh, we're talking about cancer, and so um, I hope that you will support us for that. And then the following week after that is Jimmy Lim, and Jimmy Lim is going to bring up this in a more of a 
conservative, conservative view uh, from the Christian Christian side of it. So it's kind of like we'll kind of touch on it again, and then the week after that will be Nelson, and he will t talk to us about the regional uh, re for uh, as to how we as a church um, 